In Rhode Island, the Gordon Fox scandal continues to dominate political news, with former friends and allies now backing away. Governor Raimondo was a donor to his campaign and now says she's disappointed. He was a liberal who passed same-sex marriage, but also paved the way for a more conservative successor. Political reporter Bill Rapley has more on that tonight. Bill? But Gene, there's a reason why the Speaker of the House is called the state's most powerful politician. He, and it has always been a man, controls the body that fashions the state budget every year. And nothing passes in the House without his approval. So a new Speaker can set a whole new tone. It did not take long for the raid at the State House to upend the power structure at the General Assembly. While it was a day before Fox announced he was stepping down as Speaker, Majority Leader Nick Mattiello began pulling supporters together for his bid to take over almost immediately. He held a caucus the same day as the raid. And you think it's the appropriate time is now before the man's even been charged or had a day in court? Bill, I indicated that I'm concerned with Tuesday, the session and the work of the people. This is clearly a distraction. An effort by Representative Mike Marcello to pull together votes fizzled before the weekend was over. And just four days after the FBI raid, a vote of the House made Mattiello speaker. The vote was 61 to 6. And by the next day, he made clear those who had opposed him were going to give up power. Helio Mello was replaced as chairman of the Finance Committee by Ray Gallison. And Republican Doreen Costa was rewarded with a vice chairmanship of the Judiciary Committee. Mattiello's style is not subtle, but it appears to be effective. The new speaker not only shook up leadership, he set a new tone in the General Assembly, which he has been very clear about. Jobs and the economy has started out that way on March 25, 2014. It's the same today. Some in the human services community point out that his attitude has resulted in cuts to property tax relief programs while simultaneously granting tax relief aimed at keeping wealthy residents in state. Not the same constituency his predecessor Gordon Fox spoke about. Nearly a year after the raid, the state's House of Representatives has a whole different flavor. And of course, there's a new governor as well. She's having regular and lengthy meetings with Mattiello as she puts together her new budget, and we will certainly see his influence when she puts her budget out for the public next week. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC10 News in the studio. Bill, thanks. Remember to stay with us for the latest on the Gordon Fox scandal. And for coverage 24-7, log on to turn to 10.com.